so in this video we will discuss about the classification of the distal femur fracture so we have one very important classification by the name of ao muller classification which is most commonly used although in the past we had many classification so what does ao muller classification say so this is the ao muller classification so it divides the distal femur fracture into a b and c types a types are complete extra articular the fracture line it is extra articular it does not extend into the articular surface so in a1 it is a simple extra articular in a2 there is a wedge there is a wedge creation of fracture and in a3 it is a comminution it is a comminuted extra articular distal femur fracture in type b it is a partial articular in b1 it is partial articular means only lateral condyle is involved in b2 it is medial condyle which is involved and in b3 it is the coronal plane condyle in the coronal posterior condyle which is also known as hoffa fracture fracture of the condyles either medial or lateral in the coronal plane this these fractures are in the sagittal plane this b3 fracture is in coronal plane and type c in c we have the articular extension so it is a simple fracture in the metaphysis simple fracture in the articular surface it is c1 it is comminuted fracture in the metaphysis and simple fracture in the articular surface it is c2 and last we have the comminution at the metaphysical region and comminution at the articular surface which is c3 so this is the ao and muller classification for the distal femur fracture which also dictates the type of intervention which is required type of treatment which is required so in a1 a2 a3 we have two option we have option of distal femoral nail and we have option of the distal femoral locking plate depending upon the expertise of the surgeon in partial articular b fractures we can either use cancellous cannulated screws or we can add on with plates locking plates so in case of b1 we can use a lateral plate in b2 we can use a medial plate and in b3 depending upon the size of fracture fragment we can use either cancellous cannulated screws from anterior to posterior or from posterior to anterior we can supplement with the plate also on the posterior surface depending upon the size of fragment in c type of fracture where the fracture line it extends into the articular surface we have to first fix with the articular surface with the help of a cancellous cannulated screws so after fixing the articular surface with the cannulated screws we can either fix the metaphysical region with the distal femoral nail or more commonly by the distal femoral locking plate same case in c2 we have to fix the articular surface first and then we can use the distal femoral nail or distal femoral locking plate in c3 as the articular surface is more comminuted so we have to use multiple cancellous cannulated screws adding on with the herbert screws and then we have to supplement with the distal femoral locking plate so this is the ao and muller classification for the distal femoral fractures which dictates the type of fractures and also tells the type of intervention which can be used to treat the fracture thank you